All right, man. So I thought this this trade this trade deadline was going to be pretty boring, but it's already heating up. It's already heating up. Russell Westbrook is now no longer a, a Laker. Now we all knew that this fit wasn't going to work when he first got traded there. So I'm happy for Russ. I'm happy that he gets out of that situation, which it was like a, a not, he can't win in that situation. LeBron earned so much attention. The Lakers earned so much attention. And your flaws just come out of nowhere in that system based on the way Russell Westbrook plays. Because he's so, you know, he's, he has to handle the ball. He has to be the main guy. And you just can't do that when you got, you know, arguably the greatest player of all time on your hip that needs the ball as well. So I'm glad he got out of that situation. Let's talk about the deals right now. Let's talk about the details. Russell Westbrook in a first round pick is going to the Utah Jazz. D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt is going to the Lakers. We'll get into that. And Mike Conley, Nick Alexander Walker in the second round pick compensation is going to Minnesota, which we probably won't talk too much about in this one. But the Russell Westbrook fit, as we talked about, I think this is a win-win for every team in this in this trade. Every team got somewhat better, and these guys got in a better position for themselves. Obviously, I don't think Russell Westbrook is going to play for the Utah Jazz this season. The Utah Jazz have played very well starting out this season and kind of fallen off from there with all the injuries they've they've, they've had. Um, but I don't think Russell Westbrook fits their timeline. And I think everybody in that situation knows that. He's probably going to get bought out. And it's reported that he most likely will end up with the Chicago Bulls or the Los Angeles Clippers. Obviously, the Clippers... Keep him in Los Angeles. Keeps his family out there where he's from in L.A. And I think that'd be the best team to go to if he's still looking to contend for a title. Which obviously at 34 years old, that's that's pretty much what he's trying to do now. He's, trying to, he's a veteran on the team now. He needs to try to compete for a title. I don't think the Bulls gets him there. But stranger things have happened. I don't think that moves him ahead to like a title contender. Because they're, they're, they're not any good this year right now anyway. So him going to the Los Angeles Clippers will be best. That would be best. The only issue with that is, is Reggie Jackson still on that team? And if you know Thunder history, because Russell Westbrook's my favorite player being Oklahoma City, that those two guys didn't mesh very well. Personality-wise. On the court, they were great. But they didn't mesh very well. And it's kind of like putting him back together with Patrick Beverly. So it's one of those situations again. One of those bad situations. I think the Clippers give him the best shot of the championship, though. That's what it comes down to. Now, for the Lakers and their move, obviously Russell Westbrook hasn't been working. Hasn't been working for them. So you get D'Angelo Russell, who is a much better shooter. Not, you know, the best of passers. But I don't know how much less you're getting on the defensive side with Russell Westbrook and D'Angelo Russell. So I think they would take in the situation the better shooter, the younger guy. And that's that should work out for them. That should work out for them. It's funny because he started there in his career. <laughs> like the Lakers believed in him already. Uh, he played there his first two years. And it was pretty good. And they traded him away to the Brooklyn Nets, where he was awesome and great. And he was like almost the MVP candidate. And it's, since then, he's kind of slid down. His value has been going down. But the Lakers say in this trade, pretty much, that we believe in you again. You can come on back. Now he's only twenty six years old, people. 26, so he should be entering his prime pretty soon. Like, usually you enter prime like 28 to 32 is your prime years in the NBA. That's what it's supposed to be. Athletic-wise, your veteranship-wise, all that matters now. But his best years right now, like back when he was in Brooklyn, like I said, when he was younger. Who knows what he'll do now? He may come back to the Lakers and feel much better. It's always about the situation with these NBA guys. They're all really good at basketball. <laughs> Like, if you didn't know, they're really good at basketball. It's all about the situations and where they end up at. See what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Let's get into the next thing. You're listening to the Rip Jersey Podcast. 